In the next movie I want to show you some high-level configuration of EPUB crawler. So EPUB crawler is extremely configurable down to the level of even how individual words are output into different text flows but we won't get into that detail right now. All I want to show you is some really broad and global reconfigurations that you can do to make EPUB crawler behave differently. So the key to reconfiguring EPUB crawler is to actually dig into the EPUB crawler folder and if you see EPUB crawler after we've installed it onto our scripts palette came with an EPUB crawler template folder. If you open up that EPUB crawler template folder you see a number of subfolders and a bunch of these actually are predecessors to files and folders that you'll find in your EPUB once it's exported. So these are used as templates to generate the EPUB uh, after conversion. This folder, EPUB styles, is not converted over to the EPUB. Instead it is a container for some templates and uh, snippets that generate different kinds of EPUB or have a different approach to generating the EPUB. So for now, I won't go into much detail of how they're made, but you can see like these two were concentrated on these two and I'll show you the difference. So one is called plain percentages and the other one is called plain pixels. And the difference between the two styles of EPUB is that the plain pixels one generates CSS information using pixel coordinates. Whereas the plain percentages one generates CSS information using percentages of the page width and height. So keep these two in mind, plain percentages, plain pixels. Now look at the OEBBS folder. That's a folder that actually contains a lot of the things uh, that also go into a finished EPUB. But most of the stuff you see here is actually template. So there's CSS templates, there's XHTML templates, and we'll get into more detail in uh, other movies. So there's a lot of things you can do here. But the file we're wanting to look at now for very high level broad reconfiguration is called config.ini. So config.ini is a text file, so you can open it in any text editor and then uh, you can just type different settings to make EPUB crawler behave differently. To get to the config.ini, the simplest way to do it is to dig into your scripts palette and go into user, epub crawler, or ebps, all the way down to config.ini. Then right click config.ini and say reveal in Finder or reveal in Explorer if you're in Windows. So that shows me the config.ini file. And all I do is drag this config.ini file on an icon of a text editor. So I use Sublime. So, but you might be using BBEdit or um, Notepad++ or any other text editor. So any of them will do. You can just drag that config.ini file on top of those icons. Now, in this file, you find a lot of comments. So human readable stuff. All the lines that start with a hash sign, so a pound sign here, are human readable are not interpreted by the computer so EPUB crawler simply ignores them. The lines that are interpreted by EPUB crawler are these for example main that's the main section in the config.ini and then for example this setting called EPUB style and look at it it says EPUB style equals plain percentages so at this point in time the EPUB configuration is set to generate plain percentages. Now I will not change this file for now, so I'll just hide it for a sec and I'll run EPUB crawler. So I'll make sure that any previous runs are gone, so no EPUB folders on my desktop. I go to InDesign and I double click the EPUB crawler.jsx bin to generate an EPUB file. Okay, that's done. So now I just leave that file on the desktop. Uh, what I do is now I go back to my text editor with the config.ini and I now change it to plain pixels. So epub style equals plain pixels. I save the config.ini and hide it again. And I double click epub crawler.jsx bin again. 
So pay attention to the fact that the two words I typed were either plain percentages or plain pixels and they correspond to the names of the folders in the EPUB styles folder. So they have to be exactly right. So if I were to type into that config INI something that is not the name of a folder here in this EPUB styles folder, then it wouldn't work. EPUB crawler would not work. Okay, let's leave InDesign. Just hide this, hide this. And now we here have two different EPUB folders on our desktop. And one has been generated with the setting uh, plain percentages, that's this one. So I'll rename it. Test file plain percentages. And then I'll rename the other one to test file plain pick. So we know the difference. The names are not relevant, it's just to help us to remember the difference. So what I do now is I'll dig into the OEBPS folder and I'll open up say p2.css page so the CSS for page 2 so currently we're in the one that was generated with the EPUB style plain percentages I take the p2 CSS open it in my text editor and you see all the positioning information for the different things that we find in the uh, HTML file so here are the IDs for the different frames the divs so are all expressed in percentages, 13%, 23%, and so on. So let's just hide this for a sec, and now we open up the second one, the one made with, um, oops, the one made with plain pixels. Open it up and take the same p2.css. See, and now this one actually says left 77 pixels, top 186 pixels, width 246 pixels, and so on. So just by changing this little setting in the INI file, I have generated two quite different EPUB files. So what I recommend you do is that you go into uh, InDesign, dig into the EPUB crawler folder down into the OEBPS folder, and then go and find that config.ini, reveal it in Finder, and then open it in a text editor and study it. So the default setting uh, when you download EPUB crawler off our website is to use plain pixels. So, but of course you're free to use any other setting and uh, to experiment with the different EPUB styles that are already available. So in later videos, I'll show you how to create your own EPUB styles, which encapsulate all the th configurations you prefer and all the, the snippets and templates that you would like and then uh, the EPUB crawler will automatically use that as the default to generate the EPUB. So there's lots and lots of settings in this config.ini so and I encourage you to actually experiment with these and play around. So for example use page names is a new one I recently added. So when generating names for the XHTML files setting this to a 1 will make EPUB crawler use the section and numbering options in the page palette in InDesign to generate the names of the XHTML files. If you make this a zero, then it will just use the sequential number of the page within the document. So there's all kinds of things. So uh, use first page as cover. So if you were to inspect the EPUB that we're generating, you would see that the first page is automatically created uh, and used as a cover for your EPUB. You might not want that. Well, just changing use first page as cover to a zero resaving the config.ini will automatically stop that and then the first page you will be will be just a regular page and you will be responsible for generating your own cover so that concludes the third movie in this series just showing you how to do general really broad global reconfigurations of epub crawler